Not so long ago, it was a feature of high school biology class that biological sex is biologically real. It's detectable at the DNA level. You are born with it. You don't get to choose it. Just as you don't get to choose your height or your eye color, your susceptibility to breast cancer or a million other things. It's genetic. Genetics are real. Maybe unfortunately, but doesn't change the truth of it. But now, that's hate speech. In his new special, Dave Chappelle, the comedian, explains what happens when you challenge this lunatic new orthodoxy. They cancel people that are more powerful than me. They cancel J.K. Rowling. My God, J.K. Rowling wrote all the Harry Potter books by herself. She sold so many books, the Bible worries about her. And they canceled her because she said in an interview, and this is not exactly what she said, but effectually, she said, Gender was a fact. And then the trans community got mad as shit. They started calling her a turf. I didn't even know what the shit that was. But I know that trans people make up words to win arguments. Well, that's the truest thing ever said, making up words to win arguments. You see that in a lot of places now. So none of that's particularly radical. It's pretty conventional, really. Four years ago, no one would have noticed it. But now, a number of Netflix employees have decided to protest the special. They want it pulled off of the service. Then they harassed a man who came to support Chappelle and freedom of speech. Watch this. It's okay to laugh, but you're sparking hate conversation. So they break his sign, and then they accuse him, he's left holding only a stick, accuse him of having a weapon. So his speech is violence, their violence is speech. See how that works? What's interesting is that the number of people who really care about this issue enough to assault someone over it is tiny. And yet they have disproportionate power. 350 million people in the country, maybe 1,100 feel that way, but they're running everything. Why is that? Well, Seth Dillon might know the answer. He's CEO of the Babylon Bee, one of the very few remaining satire sites on the entire internet. He joins us tonight. Seth, thanks so much for coming on. So you, you, this stuff's in your face every single day. You're the target of a lot of this. You got to wonder the people trying to destroy your business and your life, like they're a tiny percentage of Americans, aren't they? They are, but they wield all the power. This is the funny thing, you know, it's, it, it, they really are the joke at this point because they, they try to project themselves as being marginalized. These are the marginalized, these are the <laughs> oppressed. Yes, exactly. But you can't make fun of them. You know, the, the way that you can tell who holds all the power in a society is by who you can't make fun of, right? That's right. These are the people that you can't make fun of. So it's very clear they hold all the institutional power in our culture. And it's really interesting, you know, when you've got comedians like Chappelle, you gotta worry about now when you're telling jokes, not, you don't just ask yourself, is this funny? You have to ask yourself, is this joke going to offend somebody who's more powerful than me, but identifies as being marginalized because I might lose my career? So is that, I mean, your site manages to be consistently funny. And I think probably most of our viewers get, you know, Babylon B headlines texted to them at least once a day. How big a concern is that for you? I mean, do you feel like you're right on the edge of getting your business taken away from you? Well, I mean, that's the goal, right? There's, there's, there's like 10 different ways they're trying to attack comedy. One of them, it's not even intentional. They're making reality absurd. That whole opening you did with Kamala Harris and Joe Biden and all these videos and how fake they are, like, it's impossible to satirize that. These people are beyond yes, no, parody. Totally They've right. turned reality into a parody of itself. So that's, that's one way. Then there's the intentional way. They fact check jokes. They try to rate them false. They can get them taken down for misinformation. Then they try to accuse you of hate speech under the guise of satire or comedy, like what they're doing with Chappelle and saying that his jokes are beyond the pale. They hurt people. But really, it's the, it's the joke police. It's the people who are, who are saying, oh, his jokes hurt my feelings. You know, those are the people, they deserve to be mocked more, not less, because it's just silly to act like joke police, like jokes really are, are like violence. Really, like you said earlier, you know, the, the speech is now violence and the, and the violence is speech. Uh, you know, jokes are not violent. They don't hurt anybody. Uh, if we're all equal, we should all be able to joke about each other indiscriminately well, and not exactly. have these, this like hierarchical structure where we have certain people who are off limits and we can't joke about them. If we're all equal, boy, you got right to the heart of it there. If we're all equal, only in a country where we're all considered equals, 
can that happen? But that's we're, we're not that country anymore. You're exactly right. Seth Dillon, I appreciate your coming on and your site, which I love.